Good morning, Periscopers. Good morning, good morning to you. What a what a blessed morning to wake up to uh, ah to be alive on this holiday. Um, a quick scope while I'm on my way to the Korean service. I just want to talk about gay life and family. You know, a lot of times we as as gay people are forced because of fear to keep our lives from our family because we don't want to lose them because we believe that their love is conditional and a lot of times unfortunately it is there are people out there who are going to listen to this video who know that they will judge their family members because they're gay. They'd want to have nothing to do with them because they're gay. And they will justify that by saying, well, it's wrong in God's eyes. But if nothing else, if nothing else, I believe the one thing about God that we know to be a fact and that is that he is a loving God. So when you judge your family member just based on their sexuality, because you think it's wrong according to the Bible, shame on you. Shame on you. Because there are a lot of things that people do that are wrong according to the Bible that you would accept. Adultery is rampant. Rampant fornication, rampant, thievery, lying, all rampant. So stop judging people and leave that to God. Start loving your family. Love them despite, like they love you despite. Huh? There's a lot of things that you don't get to choose within your family. You just get what you get. Because you don't choose your family. And I had an incident within my family this morning that reminded me of how how blessed we are when you have family that loves you that makes you a priority, that's there for you. We're blessed. I used to think it was the norm, but it's not the norm. If you have family that loves you unconditionally, it is a blessing. And I am blessed to have a father that loves me though he doesn't understand my preference my orientation but he loves me anyway you can't say anything bad about me to this man I had a mother who loved me I don't think I will ever know love like the love of my mother ever that woman loved me that woman taught me about unconditional love. Through all of the stuff she had to work out within herself and her own understanding and her own acceptance. She loved me. And I miss her every day. Every day. Not a day goes by I don't think about my mama. And shame on me for waiting so long to be honest with her, I didn't come out till I was 30. And when I did come out, you know, my mama said she always knew and was waiting for me to tell her. And she was hurt. She was hurt that I didn't trust her love enough. That I 
didn't trust our love enough. She said, you're mine. You're mine. You came from me. And you will always be mine. That's unconditional love, people. I have a sister that loves me unconditionally. Partly understands me half the time. But loves me. I have a niece that thinks the sun rises and sets on me. Regardless of how people might taint her mind about my sexuality. That baby loves me. I have a nephew that thinks that I'm the greatest thing ever. Loves me. And they don't love me because I'm gay. They love me because I am who I am and I'm not ashamed. And I teach them lessons every day about unconditional love, about being true to self. And I don't only say it, I live it. And they see it. We need to love each other, people. Stop judging each other. We need to love each other and stop, stop depriving and discriminating against each other. Especially within your family. If your family can't love you, shameful. And shame on those people who have kicked their family out and distanced themselves from their family member because of their sexual orientation. Shame on you. You don't always get a second chance to say you're sorry. Remember that. Don't wait until your family member is gone, commit suicide because you didn't accept them. Or falls to illness and disease before you accept them. We gotta do better, people. Stop talking the game. But I love this way and I love everybody. Start showing it. Be a family. Because if your family ain't got your back, then you're in a sad way. And there are lots of gay people out there whose family doesn't have their back and it hurts them to their core. And even though they have support from the gay community and, and support from their partners, it never quite makes up for the love of family. And I know this to be true because every day I know that there are people, there are senior women in my life who are like mothers to me every day. But they can never make up for the love of my mother, never. For those of you who don't have your mothers, you understand. Nobody can love you like your mother, boy. So on this holiday weekend, when we are entrenched in our Christianity and our religious beliefs around the death of Christ, let us stop being hypocrites and really show, hello, but let us stop being hypocrites and really reflect the love of Christ. Let's try to do that this weekend. Let's try to reach out to all of those family members we rejected because of their sexuality. That's my wish for this weekend. Anyway, beautiful people, I have arrived at my destination, the Queen's service.
I'm doing good. I'm doing good now. Now that I've gotten all that off my chest, somebody just asked me how I'm doing. But I could always be better. But I'm a work in progress. So, have an amazing, amazing holiday, people. And I will see you.